Hey, Sandra Cruthen in a vision doing something new. I do like to do something new. So I'm in my office and I am creating some new posts for my YouTube and also my Instagram. So I thought I'd just do something that, like I said, is a little bit different from what I normally do either around the park or various other things that I like to, sh to bring to you. And this is all about, I've done an introduction, a little bit about me recently, which you'll find on my Instagram and you'll find on YouTube, which is all about my journey, really, of where I came from, what it was like and what it's like now, what happened and what it's like now. And now I really want to talk about the how of what I, what I did. And I basically, I've mentioned that I saw a life coach some years ago, I was working as a nurse, and I was not taking care of myself, overweight, smoking, drinking and stressed. And I'm smiling because that's not my life today. Saying that, I still have an element of stress in there. But as you can see, I'm certainly not overweight. I've got a great marriage with a guy I nearly divorced, which is a book I'm going to be hopefully writing. Actually, I've started writing it, but I just haven't finished it yet. I'm working on it at the moment. So in these difficult period, I think more than anything, any time at all in history, we need to really ensure that we take care of our physical, mental and emotional well-being. And that's something I really feel like I am now a specialist in because I really do my best every day to take care of myself the best that I can. Now, I, I think the key is to remember none of us are going to do anything perfectly. None of us are perfect. But I do really try and listen to my body and make sure that I pay attention to what it needs. I don't just blank it anymore. You know, I, I check in with myself. So this is the tool that I've created and it's called a health fountain tool. And what I'd like to do over the next period of weeks is just introduce little elements of this tool. And today, the first one, funny enough, is all about communication. Because if we don't look at ourselves holistically, I mean, there's fun, there's environment, there's career, there's relationships, mind, body, spirit, purpose, all these elements I think need to be paid attention to. So if we were going to look at communication and break it down, so the first thing is, do we listen to our bodies? Now, many people on a scale of 0 to 10, do you listen to your body? I've spoken to so many people over the years in my nursing career and also as a coach and what I notice is people don't <laughs> they say they do but they don't really do what it suggests so we'll hear our little bodies say oh I need a drink I need to rest I need to slow down I need to whatever it is that we need to do go and do some exercise but do we actually pay attention to what the body is saying and do what it says I feel we don't and I didn't myself. So what happens is we get more and more stressed, anxious, and then obviously eventually burnt out. And that's something I, as a health professional now, and as a coach, want. I'm all about prevention. If we can prevent things happening, the whole world seems to be running on cure. You know, let's wait till the problem occurs and then we'll do something about it. Not everybody, but I feel a high percentage of people do that. So... How do we make time to listen to our bodies? Well, it's quite simple. Just be quiet and sit still, I think. Just check in, you know, just take a moment. Take a little deep breath and ask yourself, OK, what do I need? You know, I'm aware, funnily enough, straight away, my body said you need to have a drink. Very simple example of what we can do. So just stop for a moment. Periodically during the day, you know, you can't get all these things in place immediately. So it's about tiny bite-sized pieces. So focusing on listening to our own bodies is what I want to talk about. Is one element of this health fountain tool, which I think is much better worked with another person. You know, obviously a coach, as far as I'm concerned, I created it. But I think when we speak to somebody else about what we're going to choose to do, that does help enormously because we have... More of a commitment, I think, when we say it out loud. So the communication with yourself, what I'd like you to try to do over the next however many weeks is just periodically during the day, even if only for a minute, just stop. Take a breath and ask yourself, what do I need right now? You know, earlier when I did that, I knew I needed a break from the desk because I'd done two hours solid. It was lunchtime, so I went off and had, a, had my lunch break. So just try that over the next few weeks and next time we come together, 
I will tell you a little bit more about the external communication that we need to have. Now internal is all about my own dialogue with myself. And once I've grasped paying attention to what I need and working towards achieving those goals, I'm gonna be much more focused in everything else. So that's the first one of our health fountain tool, little lesson to see how we can actually do that, the how of what we know we need to do. So I hope you have a great week and I'll speak to you at some stage in the future.